So what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video in which we'll be starting off by setting our Next.js project. So first things first, what we're gonna do is on your systems, go on your systems and uh, make sure that you have Node and NPM installed. And I'm assuming that you are a React developer, you have some sort of experience with React, so you should have that by default. Once you do have that, just go ahead and write npx create next app and just go ahead and write the name of your project. In our case, it would be hello next. You could have any name here you want. And the next thing is I'm going to pass in a flag called dash dash use npm. Now, the reason I'm passing this flag is because I have both yarn and npm on my systems. So I want to use npm. That is why I'm using this thing. And for the matter of fact, what this npx is, how this all is working, if you want to dive deep into this, we have a dedicated course for npm mastery as well on CodeDAM. Hopefully you're watching this on codedam.com. So you can go ahead and check that out as well if you want to learn more about how npx and everything works. So once you have that, just go ahead and hit enter and it should be up and ready in a couple of minutes. Now, mind you that we would be using TypeScript in this whole um, course because TypeScript is a production ready technology. It enables you to write high quality code while suppressing a lot of errors, which might just slip in. So you get all those benefits of static type checking and auto completion and jumping in code here and there and refactoring and all that stuff. So it's, it's a pretty decent deal. So once we have done that, once the project is initialized, let's just go ahead inside the folder, hello next, and let's see what's going on here. So if we take a look inside the files section, okay, I think we did not really open that correctly. If we take a look inside the files section, all right, so you can see right here that we have some JS files and not a lot of activity going on, right? We have some regular package JSON files and everything. And I'm gonna get to the whole directory structure later on in some in the next video. But for now, just stick along with me and let's just go ahead and convert these into TypeScript. So it's as easy as doing this with Next.js, right? Just make sure your extension is .tsx for the files which actually use JSX. And you could go ahead and keep it .ts for the files which are, you know, just pure TypeScript or just pure JavaScript, right? Once you do this, it should be enough. Now, if you're coming from a TypeScript background, you're gonna immediately notice that we do not have a tsconfig.json here. But the thing is that Next.js can automatically take care of that. How awesome is that? So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a file called tsconfig.json. I'm gonna keep it empty. This would be handled by Next.js. We don't have to really uh, mess around with, initially at least. And what I'm gonna do is we can see that we just have three dependencies at the moment, Next, React, and React DOM. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a couple of mores, which would enable us the type support and all the nice features of TypeScript. So I'm gonna install TypeScript right here. I'm gonna install the node types, which is going to enable us to write server-side code. And I'm going to install the React types, which is going to give us autocomplete on the client side code for React. And I'm going to save this as save dev because these are dependencies which we don't really want on production. Because on the production, Next.js would automatically be, you know, compiled down to JavaScript and all that good stuff. So once you do that, we are basically done to see our hello world. Now you might see some of these errors, but don't worry about them. These are all false positives they would be all rectified once we fill up this TS config. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and write npm run dev, which in turn is going to go to package.json and see that we have a dev script, which is going to run next dev. And next dev is magic. It, it is going to take care of the server initialization, compiling your TypeScript, you know, hot auto, auto uh, reloading, hot reloading of code, fast refresh, all that stuff, all that good stuff out of the box. It's just magic. So we go ahead and run this and you can see that it says to me that we detected TypeScript in your project and created a tsconfig.json file for you. So that's very nice of Next.js, right? And you can see that we get a nice little populated tsconfig.json file with us plus a next.env 
d.ts file which is a typed file but we don't really need to worry a lot about this but for the most part you can see that our code base is purely in typescript we don't have any javascript yet but we can still go ahead and visit this url that is localhost 3000 and we're gonna see that we get a nice little page creating us welcome to next.js we can in fact go ahead to index.tsx and change this from next.js to next.ts because why the hell not and you can see without even reloading with the help of fast refresh we get immediate update to our page so we're going to explore a lot about what these technologies uh, what what sort of architecture next.js follows and uh, what's actually happening in the main app itself but for this video i think this should be enough to get you started with next.js hopefully you were able to follow along till now if not let me know in the discussions below i'm gonna get back to you if you are stuck anywhere that's all for this one i'm gonna see you very soon in the next video